Some products are just hard to sell online because they are more bespoke items or the transport process is very complex. In that case, you can simply include them as a product on your webshop, but instead of making a payment, visitors can request a quote. This process is almost completely automated and I'm going to explain how it works to you in this course. So the first thing we're going to do is to mark items that are eligible for a quotation. So if you go to webshop, click on products, click on products and edit a product. So let me edit this one. And if we go to advanced option, we can select quotation only. Um, if you do that, all the orders that include this specific product uh, will automatically be a quotation only. So you can't order it directly, you have to request the quote. Uh, that makes sense for bulkier items or very specific items like greenhouses. Um, if you want to have a quotation from a specific quantity uh, only, you can say, well, let's say 25. So what happens if people order 24 items it will be a regular order, so they have to pay the regular price. Um, you uh, state over here, so the, the price uh, including taxes and VAT. Uh, but if they order 25, they ha have to uh, request the quote. So you can't even uh, purchase the, uh, the quantity you want. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, usually, uh, what most people want is that they have uh, items that are quotation only. So just check this box and click on save. So this is the first step, uh, and you have to do this uh, product by product. Uh, you can also do uh, an import, uh, makes your life a lot easier. Um, so make sure to flag those items. Now, as explained, if an item is quotation only, um, people can't pay it online, so they can't complete the order. So keep that in mind. So after marking these items, we have to go to the status menu on the left, and we have to click on add, and because we, we need three new statuses, and one status is quotation created. Let me add this one, quotation created. Um, that's the email that will be triggered uh, whenever the, the, um, uh, the quote is requested by the customer. Um, and then, depending on what you want to do, you can say, okay, we're going to make a quotation. So then the quotation is sent, or that's the other option. Whenever you get the quotation, you are going to cancel it or deny it. So we say quotation denied. So those are the three things uh, we can do with, uh, with, with the quotation. Um, first of all, they have to be created, makes sense. And then we either deny it or we send it off. So the states are here now. Uh, let's go to emails and click on add. Now you can see um, the three statuses. Setting up these emails uh, is straightforward. Uh, during the uh, Garden Connect Academy course about the webshop, we explained how to set up those emails. Uh, so you can do that yourself. Uh, that's all fine. There's only one thing you need to make sure, and you can read it underneath. So you have uh, like the order details, name with the customer name, so all these texts. Uh, the quotation URL is an important one. So you must include this tag because th this is the link triggering the quotation. So how does this work? Uh, whenever the quotation is created, you don't need to include a link because well, qu quotation is created and that's it. So the customer needs to get the confirmation. Thanks for requesting a quote. We will come back to you soon. Makes sense. The second step is that you're going to provide a quote to the customer. And usually quotes are about shipping costs. So you say, well, for this item to your area, we're going to charge 200 euros. I'm going to explain to you in a minute how to add those 200 euros to the quotation. Uh, but whenever that's sorted, an email will be triggered and that email should include a URL. And that URL goes straight into the shopping cart, includes all the customer details, so the name, the address, and so on, um, all the products, and the extra cost you're going to charge. So make sure to include this uh, this tag. Uh, you can include other tags, like the total amount if you want, the shipping cost, and so on. Um, that's already covered in other Academy videos, so let's skip this one. So make sure to include the quotation URL. All the other things are pretty standard. Um, so whenever you're ready, click on Save and Set. That's the quotation created. So that's more like a confirmation. Thanks for uh, uh, requesting a quote. We'll come back uh, to you soon. Quotation sent. Well, that's the one uh, where you need to include a link to make sure people can access the quotation and pay for it. Uh, and there's also a scenario where you, where you can't or don't want to um, 
uh, sell the item to this specific customer and that's quotation denied so that should be a very uh, nice email with a very uh, well uh, uh, straight answer sorry we can't provide you with a quote so there's no need to include a link uh, you can give people some options uh, ask them to give you a ring or whatever uh, but there's no no reason to include the quotation URL on this email. Uh, so those are the three emails you need to uh, uh, set up or uh, if we set them up, you need to check them to make sure um, everything's in line with your IDs. Uh, the main question is how to send a quote. To send a quote, you have to go to orders on the left. So let, let me expand that menu and you can see a new option and the option is called quotations over here on the left. So let me click on that and you can see uh, two quotations have been created. So let me edit one and this looks like an order, but a couple of things are different. So you can see all the customer details. If you want, you can add something or change it, whatever, that's fine. Um, and over here, you can add the new shipping costs, including the taxes. So let's say for this item, you're going to charge, well, uh 50 euros or dollars or whatever you want you can you can select the tax scale if any taxes are uh, applicable uh, you can change this um, and if you scroll down um, you can add a remark um, we will be able to deliver it within 14 days something like that um, so whenever you uh, updated the, uh, the shipping costs uh, or applied a discount, if you want to apply a discount, uh, you can scroll down and if you click on save and send, the email will be triggered. And the email that will go out is the one uh, that says quotation sent. If you want to check the products, you can just click on expand. Uh, you can see it over here. If you want, you can change the quantity. Uh, you can change the uh, the price per item. You can add products if you want to, or you can just delete items. Uh, and you can also check the delivery details if they are different than the customer details. Uh, and whenever you're ready, you can click on save and send and it will trigger the email as explained. Uh, so this should help you to send out quotations. Now there's also a scenario where you don't want to send out a quotation because you can't or don't want to ship the product. In that case, you can leave everything empty and the only thing you need to do is to say, okay, I want to deny this quotation, uh, click on save and send again, the status will be updated and the email quotation denied will go out to the customer. And that's how you you can use quotations and how you can send out quotations to customers. Now, as explained one more time, if you send out a quotation uh, with new uh, delivery charts, for example, or with different products, a link will, will be included on the email. That link will go to the shopping cart. People can pay as usual and the order will be pushed to yourself and your POS system if applicable as any other order. You will be surprised how useful this function is and how often it is used on the websites that use it already. Get the most out of it, I would say.